What's going on, friends? That's right. It is time for Tech Time with Stan. It's been a minute since we did a Tech Time with Stan, but I got this thing in just the other day. So focus. Bam. You guys saw the video on that thing. I want to brush it, and I want to take you guys along. So I'm going to take a limited edition, super $200 plus dollar mod, and I'm going to sandpaper the hell out of it, paint on it a little bit, and uh, I'm taking you guys along for the ride. Hopefully I don't screw it up. My name is Stan and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Do I or do I just wanna? Maybe I'll put a piece of tape over this before I sand it because I don't want to scratch this guy up. Does this press in? Knocking things over. Oh wow, that's one of those. Oh, so this is put together after the fact. Does this come out? Looks like we're doing this all together. Okay, well that was a bad idea. I'm not going to take the 510 apart, so it looks like I'm going to be putting this back together, and we're going to be taping things off. <laughs> you know what? It was worth a look. So that's all put back together. Let's test it, make sure we got it. And where'd my tank go? This polish, man, it's so nice looking, but it just is not, it's not for me to, it just doesn't work. So, I'm on the run, the cops got my gun. All right, here's the deal. And right about time, it's time to, wait, right about now it's time to have some fun? Why am I messing, stop messing with the microphone stand. I got some blue penis tape. And I'm going to protect the stuffs that uh, I want to protect, which is basically just this screen right here. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to rub my fingernail in here where the edges are. There it is. And there it is. I'm going to take this guy and just kind of gently rub it in there like that. Go around the corner and gently do the same thing like that. Go around the corner and gently, you can do this with an X-Acto knife. You can do this how I'm doing it. My X-Acto knife is actually in my truck um, and I don't wanna go get it, don't ask questions. So you can see what I did there. Basically around the screen, take my knife. Don't do as I do. Um, Unless you are very safe. Because that would be... Oh, shit. I just scratched the screen. I'm an idiot. Because I didn't have the light the right way. Dumb ass. Gentle. Gentle. There we go. Stop it! There we go. Hold it down. 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 Ta-da! And then I'm going to tuck the frayed parts into... Stay there. Yeah, maybe. Scoot it over into the little crevice here. There we go. Tuck it down in there. Ta-da! Okay. I'm going to take a little piece of this extra stuff right here. I'm just going to ball it up. Like this and put it in here like this. Nice, and just stuff it in there. You'll be able to get it out later. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Perfection. So I've got nail polish in black, lacquer nail polish. I got some gloves 
I've got some 1,000 to 1,500 grit wet dry sanding block. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not yet. I got some shop towels. I got some rubbing alcohol, 91%. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna test a couple things on this. This is all for me basically to, for you guys to see somebody who's not scared of screwing their mod up, um, how they would actually go about this in case you had a polished mod you wanted brushed or something like that. I'm doing it to this very expensive um, special limited edition double barrel, which is kind of crazy, but you know, I this is the one I'm using. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is, is you want to clean off, ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to clean off your mod using isopropyl alcohol or like mineral spirits or something. I would normally be using mineral spirits. I do some painting uh, at, for fun and I would normally be using mineral spirits, but that didn't snap like, like, like I wanted it to. However, a lot of people don't have those things around the house, but most people have isopropyl alcohol. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to use that. If I, oh, son of a bitch. If I do use, um, damn it, Beavis. If I do switch to prep all or mineral spirits or lacquer thinner or something later on, that's just because that's what I had and it you, it works faster. Um, I know this alcohol isn't going to work as fast doing what I'm going to do with it, but it will work. I do know that as well. Get in the, geez, these gloves are too small. First things first, clean it. Clean, clean the hoe. Clean the hoe. Ho! Don't want it dripping. You just want it damp. Okay? Just want it damp. You want to clean the entire surface really good. You don't want it dripping because you don't want to get like a bunch of alcohol in your electronics. Even though it will gas off, it won't be really a big deal. So get everything real clean. You see the shine coming back out of it? Kind of awesome. Also, you don't want it to be real wet because you don't want it to peel up the edges of your tape. Any soft cloth will work. You can use any soft cloth. What I'm doing is I'm basically just cleaning all the oils and everything off before I start because I'm gonna start with um, the black, showing you how to do the black inlays. Uh, if you want to use something besides nail polish you can. I'm just trying to show you guys the easiest way to do something like this with uh, lasting results as long as you clean it properly and take care of it. Um, I have done black inlays with not only nail polish, I've also used crown, Crayola. Um, the only thing about Crayola, it would work in this. Uh, this has been this way for like a year. And if you look real close, Basically, what I did was is I filled it with Crayola and then melted it with a hair dryer to let it sit in real good. Um, and this has been this way for like a year. It does not come off. It won't flake out unless you go in and dig it out. Uh, <clears throat> you can do the same thing with this. However, and Crayola is easy to get off this polished material. However, if you want it to last, you can use paint. Um, the reason why I'm using lacquer nail polish, this is OPI lacquer nail polish, and the reason why I'm using this is because I want it to harden because I'm going to go over it with sandpaper afterwards. And uh, I don't want the crown to get pulled out and into the fresh, uh, fresh grooves I'm making with the sandpaper because it'll be harder to clean off. So if you want a polished mod with black inlays, this is how you're going to do it. You, you don't want to put on any more than you have to. You can get this stuff off. The reason why I'm using lacquer nail polish is it'll come off with rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover and you won't hurt the metal. So also lacquer na nail polish is really thin so it will flow into the letters. And because it's machined, engraved out, it's machined in there it will actually hold better to the non-polished metal at the bottom of the letters. So there we go. You can see what I've done here. Basically I've made a mess. I'm gonna do another coat here. Just 
make sure all the letters get filled in completely. So now the trick is, is you have to let it dry a tad, but you don't want it to dry to the point to where it's super hard to get off. Now you can either, you can try to wipe it like this, but you run the risk of actually taking some of the black out. But you see what happened? If you let it harden a little bit, you can actually rub it off. See what happened is, is I was very gentle on the pressure and I just barely wiped it like that. Yeah, see, it's still a little, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna show you guys how to get the rest out, how to get the rest off without making a huge mess. Okay, so what I've done is, is I have done, I've basically let it get a little bit tacky. See how it's not coming off of my finger? It is a little bit tacky. It's not completely dried yet. It's only been a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol, put it on my paper towel like that. And then just so that it's not dripping, I'm just gonna ball it up and kind of squeeze it out in, into itself for a second, just to kind of spread out some of the wetness. See what happened there? So now it's damp, but it's not, it's not dripping, right? So the key to doing this without taking the black back out of your engraving is, it's pressure. It's all about pressure. So you want to be real gentle. You want to let the alcohol do its work. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to let the alcohol do its work. Just go nice and gentle back and forth. I'm not pressing at all. And you can see the black coming off a little bit at a time. If it needs, you, you'll, you'll know how much pressure to put on it as, uh, as you do it. You'll, you'll kind of feel if it needs any pressure, you'll kind of see what kind of pressure is actually affecting the letters. Um, I'm putting a little bit more pressure on it now, but not much. And you want to make sure you get all of that off. So there you go. It's as simple as that. If you want a polished, if you want a polished uh, mod that has black engravings, that's how you do it. Just like that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the rest, and then we're gonna get to the brushing. Woohoo!
now I got all the stuff filled in. Now it's time to let this dry for a little while. Let this dry for a little while and come back and start this the brushing. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I have a thing. Uh, I gave this some time to dry. It looks pretty dope as is, but we're gonna screw it up now. So what I got was, I've got some sands, a sanding block here. And this is a, uh, this could be used for wet sanding or dry sanding. I'm gonna use it dry. But uh, 1,000 grit on this side, 1,500 grit on this side. I tried both uh, on the bottom. And you can kind of see this is going to take some doing. I'm going to use the 1,000 grit because, yeah, I think that it'll work better. And what I've got, well, I got this block so I could use the straight edges to go against the, like this, so I don't have to worry too much. I mean, I don't know. I probably am going to have to have something a little bit more aggressive. Um, not quite sure. Not quite sure. But we're going to get at it, and I'm going to see if this works. You know what? I'm just going to try to go completely over the tape and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Gentle pressure. Gentle pressure. Gentle pressure. Not a lot of pressure. Not a lot of pressure happening. Now, the key to brushing something is making sure you go the same direction. You don't want to do it all over or else it'll look like shit. So uh, make sure you're going the same direction the entire time, okay? And you can kind of see what's happening here. This is gonna take some elbow grease. Because the whole point of this video is to kind of figure it out and let you guys know how I did it. I'm going a little bit more aggressive. Found some 600 grit that I'm gonna try out, see how that works. Then I might go down to the thousand again to kind of get it a little bit softer. I know this is gonna rough it up pretty good. Uh, so screw it, <laughs> right? I'm gonna try it on the bottom first just to see. Um, yeah, I think I'm cool with that. I'm not pressing down into the engraving so that the black will stay there. Getting in a little uh, hump here and then brushing it out to kind of make sure everything stays. Ooh, now see, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I think I found the right grit. Gotta be careful on the button here because the button will spin and I don't want the button to spin. I am doing this on my build mat, but it's okay. I've got other build mats. I'm gonna take this away and wash it when I'm done. So don't freak out on me, y'all. I'm not gonna push hard, but I am gonna give it a pretty even up and down the whole entire time. Not changing directions. Very small rotational moves, so I don't make any kind of angled scratches that I don't want. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Hopefully I can get through this without screwing it up. I accidentally crossed over too fast and made some like cross hatching kind of movements. So I'm just trying to level that out by putting my middle finger in here like this and going up and down just to get those cross hatches off the high spots there. There we go. Looks pretty dope. I'm gonna just see how this is polished around the edges there a little bit. I'm just gonna polish that a little bit like this, or sand it a little bit like this around the letter numbers, straight up and down, and then I'm gonna do the long strokes to kind of cover the little screwed up scratches that I made. Now I'll do the long strokes. Beautiful. A little extra right there, but that's okay. I'll probably give it one more pass just to really get, a, get that shine off of there. Um, but this is just like the first pass, and then I'll get it one more time. So now you have a brushed finish, and when you put a fingerprint on there, it doesn't show up as bad, see that? So now you have a brush finished, 
engravings are all done up. Let me put something on there that's brushed real quick. Here you go. All right, so there's your brush finish. You got your guy popping out all black, blacked out engravings. Uh, and you can see fingerprints. They don't really show up. They're there, but they don't show up like they do on polished. There you go. Clean it off with some rubbing alcohol. Everything looks pretty and neat. I could probably hit it again, but I'm tired now, so I won't do it right now. But you guys can see how you can do a little elbow grease. We'll turn, you know, you can brush out some stainless steel. And yeah, let me take this off right here. There we go. And check that out. Dope. There was a little clear protector on top of the screen. So when I thought I cut the screen, I didn't. Awesome, leave the, clean, the clear screen protector on, that'll help you. But yeah, you can see. You can see the brushed finish, screen is perfect. So there you go. Uh, I'd like to go a little harder with the, the brushing, but I don't really have a bigger grit right now. So maybe in the future, but right now I'm 100% happy with this. Boom! There you have it, Tech Time with Stan. I went a little bit light on the mod brushing. I didn't want to go crazy on it because this is an expensive mod and I was a little nervous because I haven't done it before. I have done um, engraving stuff before, so that's easy, nothing to worry about there. You could always get paint off um, of raw metal, that is, not off of other paint. But yeah, really easy to do. And what's cool about doing this with regular metal regular metal finishes is you could always polish it to go back if you want you're not taking a lot of material off brass and uh, copper are going to be softer so it's going to get a little bit you're going to take a little bit more material off than you would with stainless steel stainless steel is very hard um, but i'm extremely happy with how this came out you guys can see that right there fingerprints they're there but you don't see them when it's brushed it's kind of awesome um so that's that's the whole goal the whole goal was to make this thing less of a fingernail or fingernail less of a fingerprint magnet um i love that we got the engravings to pop out and i love that i got the brushed finish to match like my brushed atomizers now and yeah i'm super stoked on it um maybe in the future i'll try a more aggressive grit uh, just wanted to kind of get this out of the way and show you guys how I do it. It's not impossible. Don't be scared of doing something like this. However, disclaimer, whatever you do to your mod outside of this video, outside of what the company does for you, you're on your own. If you break it, sorry, man, that's your own thing. Uh, I'm sure they won't warranty anything after you screw with your finish like this, but I'm okay with that. Um, I don't really worry about those things. I'm super stoked on how this came out. I like it a lot. I hope you guys like it too. I hope this helps you out. I hope it gives you an idea and I hope maybe it motivates you to try something on your own without being too afraid of it. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week and remember, vape on friends.